Marshall Armstrong is new to our school. Marshall Armstrong is new to our school. Miss Wright says he should sit at the front of our class, just for the first few days until he settles in. He looks different to me. Marshall Armstrong sits next to me. His things are different to mine. Marshall Armstrong's ear looks like a shell. His hair reminds me of driving in the countryside to visit Gran. He's pinched his glasses from another boy. His laces are straight, not crisscrossed like mine. His freckles look like bird seed on his nose. He has lips like my tropical fish, Ninja. And his eyes are always looking at the front. Marshall Armstrong's arm is too close to mine. It's all white with red spots on it. He says it's on account of mosquitoes liking him more than me. His watch doesn't even have hands. Marshall Armstrong doesn't eat normal food. We call it space food because it comes in silver wrappers. Every wrapper has the name of the food inside it, written on the outside in black letters. Marshall Armstrong can't participate in our sports day. His doctor says that he should just sit with medicine balls and read his book. Marshall Armstrong always wears a hat outside. It's because of the ozone layer. He tends to stay in the shade. Marshall Armstrong doesn't have a TV at home. He prefers the paper. His dad says it gives him a good perspective. Marshall Armstrong doesn't fit in at our school. Not one bit. Marshall Armstrong has invited everyone at school to his birthday party. My mum says I have to go. And give him a present. I'll probably have to sit next to him the whole time, just like school. And we won't be allowed to run about outside. And we won't eat fancy birthday cake or drink normal fizzy drink. And we'll all have to be careful not to get too hot and bothered. And he'll make us read the newspaper with his dad. And everyone will have a terrible time, especially me. But at Marshall Armstrong's house, we can run around inside. And Marshall Armstrong welcomes us playing happy birthday on the piano he and his dad made. We rebuild Mr. Armstrong's train set. We all have a go at trying to light the bulb. Jeffrey Feather wins Blind Man's Bluff twice without looking. We help put up Marshall Armstrong's jungle tent. We have organic birthday cake, hot dogs and carrot cupcakes. There is a Mexican piñata to open. There is real lemonade made from lemons and with pips. We play hide and seek all over the house. Oh.
Bernadette has to go home early. We swing on monkey bars. Marshall Armstrong completes the obstacle course in record time. Then Mrs. Armstrong lets us have a power nap. We take turns to look at the sky through a telescope and through a microscope at the cut on Jane's arm. Marshall Armstrong performs on the piano he and his dad made, and he shows us a game with long wooden sticks called cues. Then, we all have a ride down a special fireman's pole from the top of the house to the bottom. Mr. Armstrong says it's in case of emergencies, but you can also use it if you're in a hurry to answer the front door. Or reach the toilet. Before we leave the party, Marshall Armstrong's mother gives each of us a party bag with our name on it. I get monster gripping paws, itching powder and blood capsules. And a key ring with a light on it, which I saved for my mum. I tell her, we had a great time at Marshall Armstrong's party and Marshall is great too. Elizabeth Bell is new to our school. I tell Miss Wright that she should sit at the front with me and Marshall for the first few days, until she settles in. <laughs>